Yeah, 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 man. Y'all already know what it is, man. Chizzy Boy TV checking in with Trigger Happy once again, baby. That's a fact. Carolina legend in the building, man. Like I said, man, you know, we're going to take this thing all the way back from the beginning. Studio 74 days, mm. you know. How did it affect you, you know what I'm saying? Studio 74 shutting down. Facts, facts. Yeah, man, that was a, uh, man, that was a hurtful thing, tell you the truth. You know, just coming out of the side of town that I was coming out of. And, you know, that was just one of the spots where you go and you see all artists from all types of, you know what I'm saying, genres of rap on other sides of the hood and other sides of the city, man. And that was just like a spot where we could just go to and get our shit off. So, you know, we had to go find another spot here, find another spot there. But that was the main spot that, you know what I'm saying, that they introduced me to a lot of artists all across the city, man. So, That's yeah, man, that was a big thing. That's what's up, man. Back then, man, I used to love to see you come out on stage, man. You got a style like no other coming out of North Carolina. You know, I, I never met a, another person that sound like you or can flow like you, you know. Mm. I, how was you inspired by, you know, the harmony and the fast spitting and the tongue twisting, you know, lingo you got? Man, you know what? Uh, R.I.P. to my sister, man. You know, uh, having a, being in the house with an older sister, you know, she was a four or five years older than me, so... You know, in her tape deck, she had Tupac, she had Bone Thugs and Harmony, and she had Eve. You know, and uh, I gravitated to that Bone Thugs. And uh, at that time, Midwest was popping, the West Coast was popping like that. So, yeah, until 3-6 hit the scene, the Outkast hit the scene, right. I was on that Midwest type of style. So, you know, just growing up in the church, you know, my first rap was in the church. So, you know, that was like a perfect blend for me to mix both right. and uh, to come out, you know, in elementary, when I heard that shit, it just did something to me. So that's the style I uh, wanted to carry with me. You know what I'm saying? Not to be just like them, but, you know, incorporate my own style with that shit. So that's what I did, man. That's what's up. Even, you know, a lot of music you made even inspired me as well. And mm -hmm. I used to hear yours, and I've been a big Bone Thugs and Harmony fan, but to see somebody from my city doing it, I used to, you know, try to tongue twist like you and all that shit sure. in some of my raps, but, you know, sure. it rubbed off on me a little bit, too, you know, for so sure, for sure. just want to let you know that you never knew that, that you, you inspired me, too, as well, you Shout know what I'm saying? Shout out to you for that, man. You know, uh, I get that from a few people, you know what I'm saying, all across the city, so, you know, um, just linking up with other artists that do it just like how I do it, you know, that was a good thing for me to do, too, so shout out to the other artists that I connected with that do the same type of style, you know, it's all about love, man, you know, for the love of the music, for sure. That's what's up, but a lot of people watching this right now, uh, they don't, some of them might not know you, you're from Hidden Valley, Facts. Hidden Valley represented all day. All day. You know what I'm saying, how was it coming up in Hidden Valley for you? I mean, you know, uh, to tell you the truth, man, it was a good neighborhood to be real family oriented. That's what I could tell you. And, uh, you know, it, it got its size to it. And just coming up in that era of uh, middle school, high school, you know, um, naming my group the Valley Boys, you know, they always supported my shit. And, you know, just seeing the different rappers come out of the Valley, you know, it, it make me feel good. So, you know, and some of these artists, you know, uh, I shine the light on as well. So it's all love. And uh, I rep that shit everywhere I go. Been repping that shit. If you seen me somewhere, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's all I do with my music. I rep that Valley shit and just, you know, just keep it fly, man. But here in Valley, that's where I grew up at, Zone 1. That's what's up, man. So what's some of the things you're working on now? Man, to be real, uh, people been trying to ask me, like, Trigger, where you been for the past couple years? You know what I'm saying? I've been right. looking for you and shit. I'm going to tell people just like this. When the pandemic hit, everybody went to Clubhouse. That's where I've been. I ain't ashamed to say it. I've been on Clubhouse for the past three years, building a community of people all over the world, all in different cities. And I got a, a, a crew that I've been building up for the past two, three years over there on Clubhouse. And uh, I advise people, if they ain't on Clubhouse, get on Clubhouse, start you a, uh, a house and get people to come in there and fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Get people to fuck with you and that's what i've been doing for the past three years just getting it in on clubhouse and uh yeah i got this little ep i'm finna drop on uh it's gonna come out on thanksgiving it's about a uh, six or seven songs and uh yeah man it's like a holiday shit and uh we smoking we're doing all that there so season chief and it's the name of the project look out for it that's what's up man how's the city of charlotte changed man like right before your eyes man 
I mean, you know, it's been a good thing to see because at one point, you know, everybody was like, who going who gonna to blow, be the first to blow? Who going to take this shit to the other level? We about to crack open the scene and shit. And it actually happened. You know what I'm saying? So uh, to see everybody getting they just do, getting they shine on the BET Awards, you know, on different projects and shit in the industry, uh, it's been a good growth. I say I ain't got nothing good to say about it. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but good shit to say about it. You know, it's going in the right direction uh, that people wanted it to go. I don't know if people see it like that, but that's what I see. A lot of growth going on. That's what's up, man. Growing up in Hidden Valley, man, I know Sugar Creek is like a street over. You know what I'm saying? Facts. You know, nowadays, Sugar Creek is infested, you know, with prostitution. It, it's always been infested with prostitution, but on a, not like it is today. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how, how does that affect the neighborhood of Hidden Valley? I mean, it affects the neighborhood greatly. I would say that, um... At a point in time, it was at the point where, you know, it was parking lot pimping. Right. You know, everybody chilling, hanging out. And then at one point, it just took a turn for the worse. You know what I'm saying? Infested with prostitution, uh, drugs. And uh, it spilled over into the neighborhood. Started coming down Tom Hunter into the apartments, into the neighborhood. So, yeah, man, I think they've been trying to do the best they could to, you know what I'm saying, stop it. But, you know... It, you know, it is what it is, but it's definitely been a, a hindrance for the people to stay in that area, for sure. That's what's up, man. I know Hidden Valley was on gangland, man. Right. You know, um, being, I think I saw you on there, a few shots on there. Thanks. You know, um, how was that, in the, you know, making a uh, gangland situation? Right, right, right. I tell people like this, man. You know, people say they saw me on there, and you definitely did. You know what I'm saying? See me on there spitting a couple bars. But what they actually did was they came to the neighborhood, you know, looking for people to get the story. You know, everybody was kind of like, you know, scared to give them the story. So they found people to give them the story, and uh, it was a legit show. Uh, Gangland, they actually came to the neighborhood on their own with cameras looking for the story. Right. A lot of people took it serious. A lot of people didn't. And, you know, um... You know, they pulled up on the block. We was out there on the block. They pulled up. We ain't got nothing for you, but shit, I got some bars for you. So they let me get all my bars. They cut it. You know what I'm saying? They, they gave me probably like four bars. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, uh, you know, uh, it did a lot, you know what I'm saying, for the neighborhood. It put us on the spotlight for good and bad. Some people took advantage of it in the right way. Some people took advantage of it in the wrong way. But, you know, it is what it is. It happened. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Shout out to those who still locked down, who coming home, who already home. You know, uh, I know a lot of these people, you know what I'm saying? I grew up right. in the middle of the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? So I know a lot of people that get caught up in shit like that. So shout out to those folks, man, that's out here trying to do things right. That's what's up, man. What's some of the guys from Hidden Valley, you know, that was making a lot of noise besides yourself? Man, to tell you the truth, man, uh... I fuck with that Carly Don, Trap Newton, man. You know, he's been one of the dudes that supported me since day one. And I, I love what Carly Don been doing over the city over the years, man. Uh, same with a dude named Baby A. Uh, GNG, Geek and the Gangster, they've been putting it down. Uh, Icy Money for show. Them like little bros for show. You know what I'm saying? I shined the light on them real early. But uh, I was able to see them boys get their shit off the ground. So, um, you know. Them the ones that been in the forefront for me, you know what I'm saying, that I know of. And, uh, yeah, man, there's a lot more coming up in the neighborhood right now. So be on the lookout for that shit, too. That's what's up, man. A lot of people want to know, is the Hidden Valley Kings official gang or they just, you know, a clique or just a family thing? Where, I mean, you know, it definitely was a gang. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Hidden Valley is a family. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... That's definitely something totally different, you know what I'm saying, than the family of Hidden Valley. But, you know, it all go inside with each other, you know what I'm saying? But people live and they learn, you know what I'm saying? Uh, growing up, you know what I'm saying, it was hard trying not to uh, be immersed with that shit because, you know what I'm saying, it was the fly way to go, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know, everything a lot of people, people wanted was, to... A lot of your friends was in it. Yeah, everybody wanted to be a part of that shit, you know what I'm saying? If you already had, like, a structured family at home, then you probably would turn that route. You know what I'm saying? I always had a good structure at home, but you know, some of the dudes was my friends. Some of them, you know, you had to go separate from them. And that's just how life goes, man. You gotta make the right decisions in life. Fuck with who fuck with you. 
That's what's up, man. For sure. If you can see yourself doing a song with any one of the Bone Thugs members, who would it be? Uh, to be real, man, it'll probably be uh, Busy Bone or uh, Flesh and Bone or Crazy Bone. One of those three right there. Uh, I've been inspired heavily by Crazy Bone. Uh, but, yeah, at the moment, who's doing it real big right now, that's in the group right now, I would have to give it to uh, Busy Bone and Flesh. They ready right. to go right now. Right. I'd definitely be watching them. They still out here doing their thing. Facts, facts. Yeah, man. So, you know, the youth of Charlotte, man, are you working with any young artists? Facts, facts, facts. Check this out. Hold on. I just want to give a shout out to uh, my homegirl, Kuda Cash, man. You know, Kuda Cash is one of them female rappers uh, that came to me probably like eight, nine years ago. And uh, I've been working heavily with her and just to see how the growth she done did over the years is right. still pushing it, you know what I'm saying? And she still come holler at me, check in with me, you know what I'm saying? We do a lot of shit together. So shout out to Kuda Cash, man. She one of the ones I work hand to hand with every day with. So I be seeing her, man. I be seeing her on the ground doing her thing, man. Yeah, so shout out to her for still doing her thing, man. We got a couple little fellas, you know what I'm saying? I got a little nephew that's doing his thing named Freddie P. I don't know if y'all know, he, he do beats and shit. Okay. But, you know, it's my first cousin, Freddie P. He out here doing his thing, so I'm working with him as well. So, yeah, man, uh, I know. I remember one thing you always said when we did our first song. Uh, you say Trigger, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving back to the youth, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm putting the next one on, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, I think that's what it's about, putting the next one on so they can grow and uh, get into this thing the right way as well. You know what I'm saying? I watched you do your thing. Right. And, uh, you know, you've been doing your shit for a long time, bro, and that's good to see, man. I just want to give you your flowers as well right and now, And I appreciate man. that, man. You know, I don't know how long it's been, but you've been rocking and rolling every year with the YouTube, the movies, interviews, you dibbling and dabbling in everything. So, you know, shout out to you for sure. That's what's up, man. Definitely a part of my soul. I know it's a part of your soul, too, you know. Thanks. And a lot of things we've been through, you know, I always be in my head like I got to teach these other guys how to go through, not to go through the things I went through so it can make it better for them. Thanks. You know, because I know I can't do this the rest of my life. Be, I mean, I can, you know, music is timeless. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, sure. but it's always, you know, I want to just reach out and pass the torch, man. Even with video editing, video filming, you know, I always keep some young guys around me learning because they always going to know that new wave. You know right. what I'm saying? For sure. That's what's up. So how you feel about the radio station in the city? Um, You know, uh, shout out to No Limit Larry, man. Just one thing I want to say about No Limit Larry, man. Uh, he helped me out a lot in the beginning, man. You know, just at one point in time, they was doing a roll call. And I used to call in to do the roll call a lot. And he took notice of that shit. He started putting me on a lot of them roll calls. Then one day he called me out the blue and said, Trigger, I want you to come down to the studio and do this intro song for one of these independent nights we do on a Monday night. Man, that did so much to my drive, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To come down there and he put me in one of those little booths and uh, shut the door and just let me just figure out a rhyme for that shit. So shout out to uh, No Limit Larry, man. Uh, you know, I'm not really a big radio person at the moment, man. You know, I'm on the right. internet and stuff like that. But, you know, I I, I do think uh, the radio is still helpful. You know what I'm saying? And people should try to still look to get on that show. Definitely. It's like TikTok is the new wave, the new radio station. It is. Because most artists nowadays, you know, they put a song on TikTok and it just, you, if you take off, and then that's, that's where they come look for I'm you at. I tell you, it's going up for you. You know, so. It's just like that. You uh, So you, you still more coke underground keeping your, you know, original feel to the game? That's a fact, man. I just want to tell people out there that's been looking for music from Trigger Happy and shit like that. Like, you know, the streams is coming. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've been building up a lot of shit. And uh, I'm really on uh, social audio apps. A lot of people on social media, but I'm on social audio apps where people are talking live in real time in these rooms, big rooms. You know what I'm saying? You hear about it. I can't stress it enough. Clubhouse. You know, I run a show on Clubhouse every Friday nights. You know what I'm saying? Where we just in there kicking it. 15, 20 people playing music, you know, just going through topics of the day and shit like that. So, and I done met a lot of artists on Clubhouse. So it's a lot of artists on Clubhouse trying to get their shit off. So I'm going to shine a light on a lot of artists that I done uh, came in contact with 
or the, over the course of the two, three years. So, you know, that's really what I'm up on, man. That's really. what's up. So what's the name of your chat room on uh, Clubhouse? The Haunted Mansion, man. Look me up. Trigger Happy 704 is my name. The name of my house is The Haunted Mansion. It's a few uh, people from Charlotte on there doing their thing, but it could be a lot more, and it's a lot of people waiting to get that light shined on them. So that's where I'm at, for sure. That's what's up, man. I definitely appreciate you coming by here today. You know, this is our first interview, man. You know what I'm saying? Definitely ain't going to be the last, man. Nah, we about so, to get on this music, for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm waiting to shoot one of these new videos, man. It's I'm waiting, down. man. I'm ready. I, I don't got better. I think, <laughs> sure. I think, hey, it's time for a Chasing Boy TV Trigger Happy New Video, man. You be on the lookout saying? for that shit, because it's coming ASAP. That's what's up, man. For sure. And how can the people find you on your other social sites? Definitely, man. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. Fan base, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Trigger Happy 704. I make it easy for you. Everything, every social media I'm on is Trigger Happy 704. That's how you can find me, for sure. That's what's up. And I ask everybody this before we get up out of here. Um, what is something positive you can say to the kids out there coming up? And whether it's doing music or just out here, period. I'm going to tell you like this, man. If it's something you really want to do, don't wait till tomorrow. If you even if you're not ready, start today. Start today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Even if you don't know how to do it, start today. And don't be afraid to ask for help. It's a lot of people out here that'll help you, man. You know what I'm saying? Seek the knowledge for yourself as well. But don't be afraid to ask for help and start today. Don't wait till tomorrow. That's what's up, man. Trigger Happy 704, man, in the building. Chesy Boy TV, man. I appreciate your time. For sure. Already. HV. Yeah.